Now let's try to fix all that. This right here is Spotify Big Picture. A hobbyist project that I've been working on for around two years now, which has pretty much <laughs> completely blown out of its original scope. But I'm happy with our turnout and I want to introduce it to you. So, as you can immediately see, everything is pretty much completely different from a design perspective. First of all, the background image for the album, like for the for the artist, is now right up here. It's a small thumbnail, which is really all it should be for Metallica or really any other artist right now. I don't want to see your faces like filling up the whole screen. That's not why I'm here for. I'm here to listen to some fine tunes. What this thing tries to accomplish is pretty much resolve all the issues I've previously discussed. First of all, obviously, we have the album cover art, like spanning the entire screen as much as possible, but still giving enough room for everything else. So we know the artists we're listening, we have the song title reasonably high, we have the album that the song is from, and we have an actual cue. Would you look at that? We can see which songs are up next, we don't have to guess. Like. If you take a look at your phone just to see which songs are up next, you're kind of missing the point of an informative interface. Like, as soon as you introduce a second device, you're breaking the whole point of making an interface, like, built to eradicate that issue. So this is, like, one of the things that have really been boggling my mind for years why they didn't have a queue. That is one of the most important things about any informative music player. And finally, this is pretty much self-explanatory, the progress bar does not disappear. As it should. There is no reason ever to hide the progress bar unless you explicitly don't want to see it. In which case, fine, I guess, do that. And I guess this is a good segue to the next part, which is settings. See, <clears throat> originally I've designed this interface to look exactly like this. We have the album cover art on the left, we have all the informative stuff on the right, and we have the informative part about the song, some, you know, playback icon volume, device name, and a clock, because I thought it would be funny. Uh, all in the bottom content. Works perfectly. But over time, people have rightfully said that this is a lot of access. They don't need all this crap. So I've decided to come up with a few presets of designs that you can choose. For example, you can choose this one, this is the preset compact mode, where the album cover art is a little bit smaller, leaving more room for the song info. You can also go the di directly opposite way, which is having the album cover art be as big as possible, and only showing the progress bar without any timestamps. It makes for a cleaner interface, I guess, and if this is what you want, then this is also a way you can go. You can also go a completely different route. This is my personal favorite called split panel mode, where the album cover art is no longer really visible, but that's no problem because the album cover art is already one of the things that are less important than the actual song information. So if you want to make room for your songs, if you want to see as much as possible about the upcoming songs and like a vague hint about the album cover art in the background is all that you need, then this is the mode for you. But again, I'm not forcing you to pick a specific mode. There are a lot of things. There's also a preset specifically optimized for portrait mode. So for example, if you rotate your monitor 90 degrees, so it's upside and now has a nine by 16 aspect ratio, then that would work fine as well. So this uh, pretty much covers everything that you want from a design perspective. If you want informative, you can get it here. If you want clean, you can also get it here. Because if you click on show all settings, you can see that there's a lot of settings I've added. I think these are like 50 or something. And it allows you to customize everything you want. So if for some hypothetical reason you do not care about the current song at all, or any of this stuff in the bottom, you could just disable it. It makes the album cover art get bigger and it also makes the room for the queue a little bit bigger. We can also change the way the background looks. For example, you can have the background artwork not displayed and make it look just like a plain color. In this case, it looks pretty bland, I'll give you that. But I'm just here to show you that you can do it. So that's all there is to introducing this interface. Now I'm gonna show you how to actually set it up. 
So now let me give you a quick introduction on how to actually set up Spotify Big Picture. If you go here on the GitHub page, you will see this small category called releases. Click on whatever is the latest released at the time of recording, it's 1.2. There might be some updates coming in the future, but the general idea should always be the same. So you click down here and you download the release zip. In this case, Spotify Big Picture 1.2 zip. You download that, give it some time. Then you open the file and you export it like somewhere, it doesn't matter. The first thing you want to know when you do this is you will need Java 11 for this program to work. You can find a download link in the description, but I'm sure most of us play Minecraft anyway, so there's a good chance we will have Java installed already. Once that is done, open the Spotify bot properties. And as you can see, we are required to enter a client ID and a client secret. Now, what does that all mean? Well, to access Spotify's API and thus the data that we need to actually display anything, we will need to go to the Spotify developers dashboard, which you can find here. So let me let me let me cross. So let me just quickly open that page. And as you can see, you're required to log in. So you just do this with your normal Spotify account. I'm just I'm just gonna quickly do it with my own. And in my case, I obviously have a bunch of projects already, but for the sake of argument, let's assume I don't have anything, uh, which is exactly what you will do anyway. So you click on this small button called create an app. Uh, you're just, just gonna name it what, like whatever you want. In my case, I'm just gonna name it Spotify Big Picture. I understand the agreement and uh, I guess they need a description. So here's your description. <laughs> I don't care, whatever. So now we have the app set up and now we need to connect it. So up on the left here, you will see something called a client ID, which you can simply copy paste into this file. And then when we click on show client secret, you can see the other number, which is also something that we can copy paste into the file. Now, obviously I'm just gonna blur this all. So I'm sorry you can't hack me, but the idea should be the same. So safe but we're not actually done yet we actually need to do two more small things the first thing is clicking on this users and access button which redirects us to this page where we need to manually set the users that can use this app this is because spotify by default puts everything into what's called development mode and only allows for up to 25 people to actually use it. And instead of simply checking for itself whether we have 25 users, it simply requires us to manually add these things. Just is gonna put your stuff in here and then put your G blah, and then put your email in there, click add, and that's it for this. Now we're almost done, we just need to do one more small thing before this all works, which is setting a redirect array for when we log in. So click on edit settings, scroll down where it says redirect array and enter the following. And click the small add button. This is just the one that I chose. Uh, I'm not sure if there are any better ways to call your callbacks, but from what I've seen, most uh, redirect arrays are somewhere in the local host origin anyway. So I think this will work. Click on save and now we're finally done. Now we can actually start with the interface. So open the folder again. I'm just gonna use a terminal because we need to launch this using Java. We can't just double click it. I think some people can in my in case it just doesn't work. So what we're gonna do is type Java dash jar and then we're just gonna uh, pass it in like this so we click this on enter and we can see the app is starting and it re automatically redirected us to this page which is the login page uh, there you can see all the data that is actually required for the app um, it's just stuff like displaying your image, having access to private playlists, all this kind of stuff needed to actually make the interface work in all cases. If you're worried, 
I'm not collecting any data. Whatever you do with this stuff is completely on your local machine. And frankly, I don't even care what data you have. I just want to show people this app because I think it's a very good quality of life improvement. So I'm just going to click accept. It says successfully logged in so we can close this page. So now that we are done with the logging in process, we can actually just do the following. We can just copy this URL or you can just type in yourself. Click right here, enter. And there we have it. That's Spotify Big Picture for you. Normally, if you have no music running, it's gonna stay blank until you play something. But the moment, let me just quickly uh, like this. If I just skip the song, you can see it also does the same in the background. It will take some time because the API is rather slow, but it's the best that works. It takes like one or two seconds for it to, for it to catch up. So now that we're here, we can click double click anywhere on the screen and we can switch to full screen mode. I'm not gonna go into detail with every single setting because there's just too much to talk about. But if you want to, you can explore it here, go to show all settings. And uh, if you have any questions, like first of all, if you hover over it, you will see everything that it says in the bottom right. But you can also just message me in the comment section or message me on, on Discord or whatever, or just go to the GitHub page, open an issue, and I will look take a look at it. So that has been Spotify Big Picture. I really hope I inspired a couple of people to take a look at it. I'm very proud of this app. There has been a lot of effort going into all this setting stuff. Like this right here, the whole preset stuff was like more, uh, let's say, impactful for the development process than anything else but i'm proud of it and it yeah i just wanted to show it with you so i hope you have some fun with this app and yeah i will see you around take care bye bye